now we are about to go to the gym, but before we do that, we're going to chow down on some pasta and some bread. Carb, 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 carb. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through my heavy leg day today. An update on what I've been incorporating in my training is just doing barbell squats one time a week. So I do two leg days a week, one, I do barbell squat, and the other day, I do a heavy leg press. Um, I just have found that by doing that, I've been able to perform better during my barbell squats and push more weight. So I've been really enjoying this cadence so far. I feel like my love for lower body day goes like in and out, but right now, I'm pretty excited and I'm into lower body, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'll see you at the gym. Hi everyone, we've made it to the gym. Starting off the day with a dynamic warm up. Here are some movements I do for about 30 seconds each for three rounds. Please don't skip this step, I promise it'll only aid you in your training. Um, warming up is so crucial in ensuring you are able to perform movements to the best of your ability, avoid injury, increase your range of motion, and overall, just a good way to wake up your body before diving into your workout and pushing weight. This is one of my favorite moves. I swear I can sit here all day. It just feels so good to open up my hips and feel that stretch. I personally love spending the time to do this as it allows myself to transition my mindset to gym time after being in front of a screen all day. I'm working on being more intentional with all things I do. Having this bit of time before my workout helps me do just that. Um, try it out. I promise you won't regret it. I also love including some type of core exercise with my warm-ups. This allows me to feel the engagement in my core and better brace myself throughout my lifts. Okay, heading into our first lift, which will be a compound movement, the barbell back squat. You can see here I'm heading into my second warm-up set. I'm going to do three warm-up sets for about five to six reps each. Remind you here that form should look the same regardless of the weight you're pushing. Some cues that I keep in mind with this movement is to push through my heels as if you were trying to push the ground away from you. Keep that core tight and braced, which pretty much means to inflate your belly with air and flex it to create a solid brace around your core. This allows you to lift the weight while protecting your body and back. I like to keep my pelvis tucked to ensure I'm protecting my back and not arching it. I promise your back will thank you down the line by putting these small things into practice. Okay, now we're going into my first working set. I put on a belt since this is a heavier weight for me and it gives me something to brace my core against. This just allows me to perform this exercise in the safest way possible. Whenever you see a five to six rep range, this means you need to be pushing yourself. Okay, we're doing four working sets here, five to six reps. This weight should be challenging and you should be gassed as I was here this day I remember this workout I was dying in the best way possible I just know I was pushing my body and it felt really really good um, I do have to say I am so proud of myself for getting over some mental blocks this year with barbell back squats I feel like I plateaued with my weight I was pushing but now I'm so much more comfortable and I'm sitting at 175 pretty comfortably which is what I was hitting this day and oh my gosh, that last rep was such a struggle. But after this last rep, I'm going to have a full three minute break before my next set. You heard that three minutes, a full three minutes, let your body recover and then you can go hard the next set. Okay, heading over to our next workout, which will be hip thrust. Starting with my warm up set, which I did for 12 to 15 reps. This is just to get my form down, feel the engagement in my glutes before my first working set and adding weight. Okay, pro tip if you're having issues feeling the engagement in your glutes with this movement, play around with your foot placement. You may just have it too forward or too close to you. With your foot placement, it should create a perfect 90 degree angle when you bring that weight up, so keep that in mind. Another tip if that's still not helping, something that has helped me in the past is using a band. This puts more resistance on your glutes, so honestly, be prepared to feel that burn because with a band, hip thrust just hurt extra. <laughs> After adding some weight, we're going into my first working set. Feel free to do another warm up set if you need to, but I felt plenty ready after my one. We're doing five sets here for 10 to 12 reps with a 10 second hold at the top after your last rep of each set. Um, as you can see, I inched my feet forward 
this is what allows me to create that 90 degrees when I bring the weight up. My toes are slightly pointed out, my chin stays tucked, and my torso and my bum move together in one swift up and down movement. I'm not arching my back or anything like that, it's just one straight movement. Everything's in alignment. At the top, I'm contracting my glutes and slightly pausing to really feel that engagement. I'm going a nice slow tempo and doing my last 10 seconds at the top and holding at the end. Okay, these static holds literally burn so good. I promise if you don't feel the engagement, you'll feel them once you add static holds. Um, but after every set, I'm going to take a break for at least two to three minutes and then do this all four more times. Okay, heading over to some free weights to do some RDLs. I did a warm up set before this that I forgot to film. I did lighter weight for 12 reps. This is gonna be my first working set here. As you can see, I'm using some lifting straps because this is a heavier weight for me and I don't want my grip to give out. Um, I wanna be able to purely focus on my form and reps. I highly encourage you to get some straps if you feel like you're not able to comfortably perform the movement without worrying about your grip. Um, which is actually the case for most people, you know, especially as you start lifting heavier weight. For my working sets, I'm doing four sets of eight to 10. Some things to keep in mind with this movement. Core braced as always. This is a hinge movement, so not an up and down movement. You're hinging at the hips then coming back forward with that weight. Spine and neck are neutral. You're, you are not tucking your chin or looking high up in the sky, just neutral. And you wanna push through your heels as if you're pushing the ground away from you. Okay, you're doing this for three more sets with a two to three minute break between each set. Then we're gonna head into our next workout. Okay, heading into deficit lunges. This movement has been a staple for me for a while now. I find that this variation gives me a bigger stretch, therefore working more muscles in my quads and glutes. Um, we're doing three sets here for eight to 10 reps each leg. Things to keep in mind, core braced, pushing through your heels on the way up. Just like every other exercise, I like to do a two to three minute break before going into another set. You're gonna do this for two more times and then we'll head into the next workout. Okay, last but certainly not least, we're gonna do a glute isolating movement, which are glute medius kickbacks. Three sets of 12 here. I like to do a higher rep range for this movement and go slow and controlled. Um, make sure your core is braced or else you'll get a lot of lower back action here. Um, you want to kick back at an angle to target the glute medius. I'm also using my right hand, as you can see, and tapping that muscle. This allows my body to have a better muscle-mind connection so I can then feel better engagement in my glute. Yes, muscle-mind connection is a thing. Um, that's why being intentional in your training is so important. Your mind is what sends signals to your body to put in work. So everything needs to be on the same page. Don't just go through their movements. Take your time and do it right. You got this. Okay, you're going to repeat this movement for two more sets and then that's a wrap. I did end up going upstairs and having a cool down session with some stretching for about five to 10 minutes, but totally forgot to record it. But I encourage you to do the same. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give a thumbs up so i know to continue making this content thank you so much for watching i hope you feel a little more inspired and maybe got some fun tips and tricks to help you in your training see you in the next one bye